Hi, welcome back to Dr. O'Donovan, Medicine Made Easy. In today's video, we're going to be covering four causes of eye pus in children. You might have noticed that your child has got a yellow or green discharge or pus in the eye. They might have dry pus in the eyelids and eyelashes or their eyelashes are stuck together after they've been sleeping. In this video, we're going to be going over a whistle stop tour of four conditions which might cause pus around your child's eye. I'm going to be giving an overview of the key information for each cause of eye pus, but if you want extra information for each cause, I've included some useful links in the description box beneath this video. I've also included emergency symptoms and signs to watch out for at the very end of this video, so please make sure you stick around for this. Finally, if you're on Instagram, you might want to go check out The Eye Doc. That's a fantastic resource for patients and health professionals alike. It's got loads of top tips for spotting and managing common eye conditions, as well as weekly quizzes and posts. So without any further ado, let's start with the first important cause of eye pus in children, which is bacterial conjunctivitis. So bacterial conjunctivitis is a bacterial infection of the eye. The main symptom is that the eyelids are stuck together with pus after sleep. And this can be present in one or both eyes. And the mainstay of treatment for this is to give antibiotic eye drops, which could be something such as chloramphenicol drops. Now, bacterial conjunctivitis differs from viral conjunctivitis in that viral conjunctivitis is clearly caused by a virus. However, viral conjunctivitis is much less likely to present with pus in the eyes. The main symptom with viral conjunctivitis is pinkness in the white parts of the eyes and bilaterally watery eyes. The mainstream treatment for viral conjunctivitis is to encourage good lid hygiene. And I've included a useful link to a video from Moorfields Eye Hospital in London in the description box of this video for you to check out if you want to know how to safely and hygienically clean the eyelids. So the next cause of pus in the child's eye that we're going to talk about is a blocked tear duct. And this is present in about 10% of newborns. The main symptom is a constant watery eye. Tears fill the eye and run down the face and this happens even when your child's not crying. The eye is not red and the eyelid is not swollen. The wet eye, however, may get secondary infections and it's this which causes the eyelids to become matted with pus. So now that we've covered bacterial conjunctivitis and a blocked tear duct, Let's cover two of the more serious conditions which can result in pus in a child's eye. So the first of these is a foreign object in the eye. Small particles such as sand, dirt or sawdust can get blown into the eyes and the grit often gets stuck under the upper eyelid. If it's not removed, the eye reacts by producing pus. The main clue for this is that the eye infection doesn't respond to antibiotic eye drops, it just keeps lingering on. Older children can sometimes complain of feeling something stuck in their eye. And if they do, it's important to lift the eyelids up or down and look in those regions to make sure there's no clear foreign body stuck in there. With younger children, they may not necessarily complain of something feeling stuck in the eye. So it's important that you do a thorough eyelid investigation. The next really important cause of pus in a child's eye is eyelid cellulitis. This is a deep infection of the eyelid and the tissues surrounding the eyelid. The main symptom is a red, swollen and very tender eyelid. The eye can be swollen shut. Usually it only affects one side and this can be a problem caused by bacterial conjunctivitis because the eye infection spreads inwards. More commonly, this is caused by an ethmoid sinus infection, and this occurs without any pus in the eye. So what should you do if your child has got pus in the eye? Well, obviously it depends on the cause. If it's a bacterial conjunctivitis, as we've already discussed, they'll probably need antibiotic eye drops. However, if it's a foreign body in the eye, then that needs to be removed. 
However, as a general principle, it's worth removing all of the dried and liquid pus from around the eyelids. You can do this by using warm water and a wet cotton ball, and then carefully disposing of these in the bin. It's also important to wash your hands thoroughly before and after. And I've, as I've mentioned earlier in this video, I've included a useful link for how to perform lid hygiene safely in the description box beneath this video. For children who wear contact lenses, then it's important that they switch to glasses until the infection's gone. And the reason for this is to prevent damage to the cornea. Finally, as I promised, we'll go over some really important signs that you don't want to miss that are signs of a more serious or sinister eye infection in the child. And these are things that you need to be aware of. And if your child has these, they should be seen urgently by a medical professional. The first important sign to look out for is a very red or very swollen eyelid. It's also important to look out for blurred vision. If the eye pain or discomfort is more than mild, restricted eye movements, reduced color vision, fever over 104 degrees Fahrenheit or 40 degrees C, fever in a baby that's less than 12 weeks old. If your child looks or acts very sick, or you're just worried about your child and think they need to be seen or that the problem's urgent, then I would strongly encourage you to seek that urgent medical attention. So that brings us to the end of the video. We've covered four really important conditions that cause pus in a child's eye. If you enjoyed the video, please remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more similar content. I post similar videos every Wednesday and Sunday, and I love to hear from people who watch them. So please feel free to reach out in the comments section under this video. Once again, thanks for watching and until next time, bye.